then, you know, Christmas hit in game six. And then you lost, uh, well, January you hit it hard. You lost eight. Um, and then you lost four. And then um, you lost two more. How much weight did you lose in all? Okay. So, take, just take it one step at a time here. Minus negative five plus six, what is that going to put you at? One. A positive one, all right? So you're up one pound after the holidays, okay? Then you're down eight. Negative seven. Negative seven. You're down four more. Uh, negative 11. You've lost 11 pounds. You've lost two more pounds now. How much weight have you lost? All right, you are down 13 pounds. How many months have you been dieting? Five. So you have negative 13 pounds that you've lost over the span of five months. Okay? Five will go into 13. How many times? Here we'll do our Two. Oh, what am I doing here? Subtract. Three. I'll put a decimal in there. Zero, pull that down. Five will go into 30. How many times? Six times. Six times. Six times five is 30. So on average, you are losing 2.6 pounds per month. Starting to make a little bit of sense. That, that I understand. Okay. I, I know I, I could like just add the, the negative and then add, you know, whatever. I do that. But what I mean is um, when you divide, when you run like 130, let's say minus over five months, when, when it's on the top, there's a negative and, and the bottom is positive, though. so the answer has to be negative. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm that confusing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when your sign is When it's like more than, like, like there's more than one number, like, uh, let's say 130 plus uh, minus 28 uh, over uh, uh, 4 uh, minus, so how is the answer going to be? Because it's negative or positive and the bottom is Negative, so the answer has to be. If, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Okay, there's a couple of different ways you can look at that. If you are solving, you know, you're looking for an average or a mean of a set of data, you always have to add, start up, or start off by adding up your values to figure out, okay, what's my total amount here? So in that situation, it kind of defies your order of operations rules, where normally you would do your multiplication and division, and then do your addition and subtraction. This is a separate process where you have to add up your total and then you're going to divide by your total data, data entries. Um, so with this one, just start off in figuring out, you know, what is your, your total. And if you're doing your weight loss, maybe you're up a little, down a little, up a little, down a little, um, to figure out your overall weight loss. And then dividing it, once you divide, if you have mixed signs, you either multiplication or division. About. Yeah, and the division, the mixed, si mixed signs. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, so, so this I is mixed. Them. I'll, I'll, you know, I have no problem with that, but it's just sometimes it's confusing. It's like, you know, negative on the top, positive on the bottom. I mean, I mean like, if, if there's another number with the 13, like minus 13 plus, uh, let's say, minus 24 divided by 5, and it's, I mean, how, what, how the answer is going to be. If you had negative 13 minus 24 divided by 5, is yeah, that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, well, let's figure out what negative 13 minus 24 is. You have like signs here, right? Mm -hmm. So you're going to actually add them up, right? Because it's like saying, all right, I lost 13 pounds and then I lost another 24 pounds. Well, how much weight have I lost in all? 37. Okay, I'm down 37 pounds. Divided by 5. Now I can actually divide it because I know what my total is. All right? So then 37 divided by 5 is going to be roughly 7 and something or other. Negative 7. And the answer will be negative 7. The answer that, will be negative. I'm, that's what I'm talking about. It's like when there's more than one, a one sign and stuff. So, uh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sometimes. It's but if you have multiplication, you know, this is kind of reviewing a little bit of what we talked about last week. Let's say I have negative 2 times 3 times negative 4 times 1 times negative um, 5, like this, okay? If you have an even number of negative integers, 
your answer will be positive because they essentially cancel each other out. With this one, I've got a negative and a negative. Well, great. Those two are going to become positive. But then I've still got this guy over here, which is going to remain negative. So when you have mixed signs, a positive and a negative, your answer is always going to be negative. Okay? Let's look at the example.